What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Whiff of This. This is where I check out new and old fragrances. I unbox them, review them, get my first impressions. I also smell them on skin and on paper to get the best reactions. Today I have a new fragrance from a new house. Actually one of my uh, YouTuber friends, Michelle Rugen. Didn't even know that was her last name until I actually saw the label. This is her fragrance, Rajiger Parfum Attraction Fatale. So it just came in the mail today, or it actually came yesterday, and because it was a holiday, I guess Columbus Day or whatever, even though that's not really a holiday, it almost actually got sent back because we don't have a mailbox, and it, I didn't know that it was gonna ship through USPS. I forgot to ask her before I bought it. It actually almost got sent back to all the way in California. So it ships out of California, at least for the US, it ships out of California. Now the packaging for this was really nice. It actually came in this material right here. So it was all recyclable. This material, when I first saw this, it was actually from Samsung. When I had bought my like S9 Plus, they used this material. It's really cool how they were able to like recycle like the cardboard and make it into this texture, but it's really good for the environment. So there was no plastic or anything besides the plastic around this. And this is the box for it. Pretty nice looking box. I'm excited to see how it feels and everything. Obviously, we're gonna talk about the price later on in the video because I know people have a big issue with the price of this fragrance. Let's go ahead and open it up really quick though. So, easy to open, I like that. Sorry for the glare, but Pretty decent looking box. I actually like the little uh, lightning strike. That's pretty cool. Now she said the name of this, why she chose Rajiger or Rajiger as the brand name is because that's kind of from her heritage. I feel like she wanted to call this Fatal Attraction, but she probably couldn't due to like rights issues. But Attraction Fatale is the name of this fragrance. Let's go ahead and open it up and see how it looks. This will be my first time actually having this in my hand and smelling it. Very nice presentation overall. I do have a slight smudge right there though. I do notice that uh, if you all see that, it's just a little smudge. I think probably from when the person put it in the package. I kind of wish they had gloves on, but that's okay. We'll wipe it off. And like I said, I am gonna smell this on paper first and then we're gonna smell this on skin. I'm gonna wear this today at work. I have to do a 10 hour shift, so we're gonna see how long it really lasts. This is like a dark blue bottle. Kind of makes you think you're about to get like a, a ocean type of scent, but that is not what this is gonna be. I'm gonna go over the notes also in just a little bit here. The cap does have a Rising Your logo, which is pretty cool. Let me see. I actually wanna see kind of the weight on the cap to see if it's heavy or not. Okay, it's not a super heavy cap, but I do like that there is a design to it, if you all can see that. I can smell a little bit off the atomizer. Just from smelling it off the atomizer alone, it makes me think of Alexandria Fragrances 1981X specifically that i don't know why that's exactly what i get off of this she did say she put a pretty strong ambroxan in this and you know her she loves to do oversprays but from what i've been hearing you do not need to overspray this like at all but without further ado we'll go ahead and give it a spray in the air first just to see how the atomizer is and if anyone's actually sprayed this first so let's see okay nobody sprayed it two three four okay so the fourth one we got a real spray I'm gonna let this sit in the air really quick. Whoa. 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 Oh man, that's like better than the Alexandria fragrances. It's definitely rum for, like she said. In fact, we'll go ahead and go over the notes now. Now she partnered with the master perfumer, Christian Carbonell. Carbonell. He's made a ton of fragrances with Jerzoff, and you know that brand. Very expensive fragrances, but very quality fragrances and i think that's one of the reasons she wanted to charge what she charged for this she wanted a quality product and when you want quality you go with someone like christian carbonell i'm not even gonna lie in the air this thing smells incredible like it smell it's very captivating like it literally smells like my 1981x but it's just up to another level like it feels like times 10 like this is what would happen if they worked a little bit longer on that fragrance it, it literally smells like a delicious rum, and rum is my favorite like alcohol. The notes in this are rum, mandarin, neroli, jasmine, rose, you got black pepper, nutmeg, vanilla, amber, cedar, sandalwood, and musk. There's probably a couple other stuff maybe not mentioned in here, but those are the main notes that you get. What I'm smelling right now for sure is the vanilla and rum. And I imagine on skin, I'm probably gonna get more of the woody notes because that's usually what happens when I spray stuff on skin. But I am gonna spray this on clothes. I won't be wearing this to work, but I'll have something else on. So I will spray it on my clothes and I'll spray it on my skin 
to see really how this is gonna work. I actually just wore a fragrance yesterday and I combined two different fragrances. I'll make a whole video about it if you want me to. When I tell you it was a straight up compliment beast, like I think I had about five compliments that day and that's the most I've gotten in one day. People were just like, yo, what are you wearing? Like, if you want a video on it though, make sure you're subscribed so you can stay up to date with everything that's happening. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and spray this on paper first, and then I'm gonna spray it on my skin after that. I'll come back maybe after like 10 minutes to see after that opening. I feel like obviously the opening is gonna be pretty long for this, but just to get an idea, I'll let this set for a little bit and then we'll see how it smells on skin. All right, let's go ahead and spray it on paper and see what we get. Man, the atomizer is really good. Michelle is really good. I like it. Wow, the rum, the rum is so good. It smells just like rum, it's crazy. Wow, that's so good. Vanilla, slight bit of pepper, Very, it's very subtle in the background. and a little bit of the woody notes. That's mainly what I'm getting right now. So vanilla, rum, woody notes. I'm not getting too much of the flower note on here, but in the air, I get more of the flower note. It smells so good. We've only done two sprays and it literally smells like I sprayed it like five times. It's crazy. All right, so moment of truth, we're gonna spray this on skin and I will let you all know what I think. And we'll do one on my shirt. Whew, there goes the woody notes. That's what I figured. Usually on my skin, and Braxton does very well on my skin, but I will say I usually get a lot of woody notes when the woody notes are in the base. Smells very good. On skin, man, the dry down on this is going to be really nice. In fact, I get the rum, but it's not as prominent as how it is in the air right now. In the air, it smells like vanilla rum and like this delicious like little bit of flower note. On skin, I'm getting a lot more of the woody notes as well as... The vanilla. The vanilla rum is the main thing that I'm getting right now in the opening. I'll come back to y'all in just a little bit to see how the dry down is. And like I said, we'll have a full review for longevity and everything, as well as the compliments that I'm getting. So I'll talk to y'all in just a sec. So it's been about 30 minutes since I sprayed this fragrance. I did spray it in the air um, a little bit around the house, like literally like maybe two more times. I really wanted to get the ambiance of this fragrance and I did just that because my mom smelled this fragrance on paper and in the air and she was like, this smells really good. She was like, it's subtle. She said she smelled the vanilla and the woody notes as well as like the rum. On paper, you're definitely getting more like the sandalwood for sure now. Definitely more woody notes. I'm getting more of the floral notes as well. I also get that vanilla still. The rum is like in the background, it's still there, but I smell more of the vanilla, cedar wood, and like the floral notes. It is a beautiful fragrance. Like they did an amazing job with this. Obviously the biggest thing is people keep complaining about the price. I'd rather support someone who I know, give them my hard earned money versus going to Creed and Roger Parfums who they're really like, they don't really care about what the world you think. They're just like buy our fragrance and they keep it moving because their fragrances are legit $300. Originally her fragrance retails for $249, really 250 bucks. So yes, it is definitely expensive, but it is a niche fragrance. You may get something similar from another fragrance house, but I will say at least you know where the money's going. It's going to her as well as the hard work that she put in to make this fragrance because this was years in the making. This wasn't something that she just did overnight. Now, I didn't pay $250 because I used the promo code and it dropped off the price. With the promo code, I ended up paying $190. The shipping was free, but I think it retailed for $225. So they've dropped off $25 from the original. The code still is active. It's been active this whole time, literally since the fragrance came out because they know people don't want to drop $250. Now, it is expensive. I would actually buy a second bottle of this just so I have it in the vault. I don't think I'm going to run out of this bottle for a while, but I want to have it just in case it does end up selling out maybe in the future. I want to say that I have a second bottle and I don't need to be like, hey, Michelle, uh, do you have any bottles left? I understand though, to the average consumer, it can be expensive for sure. Like $250, that's somebody's car note. Some people's car insurance is even less than that. Getting a plane flight, you can definitely do a lot with $250 for sure. But I'd say at least you know it's going to something quality. And I mean, like I said, I paid 190 for it. I think I'm pretty sure if this was $150 and maybe 175, I don't think anyone would really be complaining. I think honestly, people would be like, yo, this is a great buy. And 
if they drop that price to 175 maybe in the future i'd say for sure grab it i would grab it even at 190 but i think you did an amazing job michelle and miss fresh as well as christian honestly i may even just do a day in the life video of me wearing this fragrance so we may go like every couple of hours and see if i can get any compliments like i said i'm gonna wear this tonight and see what the women and even guys think of this fragrance because at my job i'm around a lot of people but thank you all for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and until next time peace out